Once upon a time, there lived in Los Angeles a little girl, the prettiest maiden who was ever seen. Her mother was a paycheck whore, but her grandmother was filthy rich. Mom had a little red miniskirt made for the maiden. It suited her so well that all Mom's boyfriends called her Little Red Miniskirt. One day, her mother, having gone short of cash, said to her, Go, my dear, and see how your grandmother is doing. Take her this old package of Twinkies and tell her we need some gas money. The rain got drops, but it's all still one water. Little Red Miniskirt set out immediately to her grandmother's, who lived on Mulholland Drive. As she was going through the wood, she met with the manson, who had a very great mind to eat her up, but he dared not because some black panthers were target practicing nearby in the forest. He asked her, are you your mother's child, or do you see yourself as your own mom? dad, husband, wife, sister, brother, God, preacher, government, state, world, love, knowing all? The poor child, who did not know that it was dangerous to talk to a manson, said to him, I don't come or go because the universe never moves, but I'm taking grandmother some Twinkies. Does she live far off? asked the manson. Up on Mulholland, said Little Red Miniskirt. Well, said the Manson, I'll go and see her too. I'll go this way and you go that, and we shall see who will get there first. The Manson ran as fast as he could, taking the shortest path, and the little girl took a roundabout way, making the world mind stop and go mad, watching the money running away with the mines and digging up the graveyards. So the Manson arrived at the old woman's house first. He knocked at the door. Who's there? asked grandmother. Your grandchild, little red miniskirt, replied the Manson, counterfeiting her voice, who has brought you some Twinkies. The grandmother, who was in bed watching as the world turns, cried out, pull the bobbin and the latch will go up. The Manson pulled the bobbin and the door opened, and then he immediately fell upon the good woman and ate her up in a minute, for it had been more than three days since he had eaten. He then shut the door and got into the grandmother's bed, expecting Little Red Miniskirt, who came some time afterwards and knocked at the door. Who's there? asked the Manson in a fake old lady voice. Little Red Miniskirt, hearing the pretend old lady voice of the Manson, was at first afraid, but believing her grandmother had a cold and was hoarse, answered, It is your grandchild, Little Red Miniskirt. I've got you some Twinkies. Mom sent me to borrow some gas money. The Manson said to her, faking an old lady voice as much as he could, Pull the bobbin and the latch will go up. Little Red Little Red Miniskirt pulled the bobbin and the door opened. The Manson, seeing her come in, said to her, hiding himself under the bedclothes, Put the Twinkies on the nightstand next to me and come get into bed with me. Little Red Miniskirt got into bed. She was greatly amazed to see how her grandmother looked in her nightclothes, and said to her, Grandmother, what big arms you have. Everyone's trying to save a way of life that died a long time ago and just ain't stopped yet, said the Manson. Grandmother, what big legs you have. Time is man-made and an illusion, and controls must be put on it, or it will spin the minds into destructions, said the Manson. Grandmother, what big ears you have. I am the last and bottom line. You will do all that I say, or there will be nothing, said the Manson. Grandmother, what big eyes you have. You lost your real self and your real life for paper with pictures of dead people on them, said the Manson. Grandmother, what big teeth you have. Whatever life is, it is, and bad and good got nothing to do with it. A snake eats the baby squirrel. 
Mama Squirrel may say that's bad, but snakes got to eat, said the Manson. And saying these words, this Manson fell upon Little Red Miniskirt and ate her all up. Moral, Manson is a guitar, a cup of coffee, a snake, a pocket full of names and faces. He is a rattlesnake in the desert. Little Red Miniskirt was stuck play acting as human. Manson didn't need to be human. Manson is already everybody three times around the clock.